Welcome back. In this tutorial, I want to show you where and how to publish your direct publisher channel on Roku. When you reach this phase, you should already have your developer account set up. If not, please do. If you need help, look up the tutorial about how to set up a Roku developer account. If you followed our preparation video, you should already have all the data you need to set up your account prepared in a folder. The data you need, the branding images you'll need, and so on. Start by going on roku.com and signing in. From the right side of the monitor, click Developer, then Dashboard and Manage My Channels. To start a new channel, click on Add Channel, choose Direct Publisher. Fill in the name of the channel. Keep in mind that every channel name on Roku network must be unique. Click Continue. On the Properties page, you can select the regions where you want the channel to be reachable, the languages for your channel, and of course, you need to make some settings like regarding your channel content. If your channel is directed to um, adults or not to kids, for example. The general audience rating for your channel, the terms and services page. For these demo purposes, I'll publish the channel only in the United States and only in English. The channel is not for kids and the channel is appropriate for everyone. Copy and paste the term use of link. Of course, it's not an existing site, but for those demo purposes, it's okay. The next setting is the vanity URL or vanity access code. The vanity code is used to identify your channel. And as you can see, it's also present in your Roku store link. So you might want to customize that. Let's say I'll use this time best travel. Keep in mind that the vanity access code is also unique across the Roku platform. On another note, every time you make a change in the left side of the screen, you need to remake or redo the settings on the left or right on, on the left, sorry, on the right side. So if I click that I want the channel to be available in Argentina, as you can see, I need to select again if our channel is directed to kids. I need to select the audience rating and so on. When all the settings are made, just click save. On this page, you need to add the JSON feed. This is the feed that you can get from inside your TV Boss Fire account. Just click copy, go back to Roku and paste it in. The video format uses the default setting. Click continue. And now we've arrived on the branding page. If you followed our preparation video again, you should have all your branding images ready. If not, you can follow the link from here to see what sizes your images need to be, or you can go on to every step of what the images sizes will be. And of course, we'll post the updated images sizes below this tutorial video. Start by uploading the channel logo, the splash screen image, and the small search for Roku image. You can preview how your channel looks by clicking the preview button. If you want to make changes for the background or appearance, you can do so by playing around with these colors. You can play around a little bit with the settings, but always check to preview to see how your channel kind of looks like. Click continue. On the next page, you can choose the layout for your channel. This one looks a little better. It gives you a nicer and bigger display for the first videos on your channel. I'll use this one. Save. And now it takes us to the category section. If you remember on our video about how to set up your videos, you'll remember that we talked about tags. Tags are used to define your categories. You need to have at least one custom category. Let's set it up. First, we use the most popular category. This will show our viewers the most popular videos on your channel. I'll add a custom category based on the tags I've set up in TV Boss Fire. Travel tips. When I click the drop down, you saw that it showed the available tags pulled from the JSON feed. Keep in mind that if you use multiple tags, you would need to use them all in setting up the categories. Otherwise, Roku might find errors. If you use three or four tags on your videos, you need to either add them to the same category or create multiple categories. When you've finished, just click Save. The first custom category is created and you can click on Continue and we arrive to the channel store info page. On the channel store page, you can see your channel name. If you decide later that you want to change your channel name, you can do it from here. You also need to provide a short description for your channel. That shouldn't be longer than 300 characters. The short description, this will appear to the viewers when they browse the channels on their Roku TV. You also need a web description. This can be a little bit longer, up to 1500 characters. The web description will be listed in the Roku channel store. 
For demonstration purposes, I'll use the same description for both fields, but you should really take advantage of the web description because you can add more content into it. Add the channel poster and select a category for your channel. Roku from time to time changes these categories and as of this year we've noticed that even if you select for example sports as your category, when they review the channel, if your channel is better suited for another category, they will publish the channel in that category. But you should use what you think is best for your channel. For example, it would be educational. In this drop down you can select the domestic region for your channel, something like the home base. We don't select the domestic region for our channels but you can do so if you want to. Now I've clicked on it, they've made it mandatory. So if you don't want to select a domestic region, please do not click it. When you finish, click save. The next screen is the monetization screen, the fun bit, right? If you've already approval for monetization from your account, on this screen you can set up your ad feed. Just select yes, fill in your ad feed URL, fill in your privacy URL, select the genre for your ad, and of course you need to add a text URL. You have all the information you need below. For this demonstration purpose, I will not monetize the channel at this time. When you've finished, click continue. The next screen will be about screenshots. Screenshots will appear on the web version of your channel store listing, so it's recommended to use at least one. If you don't have one prepared, you can auto generate one. You can add a couple more screenshots and you can see that the right dimension of the format and right here. I suggest using the minimum one. When you've finished, click continue. And now we're on the support information page. As you can see, you need to provide some information. Let's start at the beginning. So I need to add a contact URL. I'll use this one, for example. Of course, again, it's dummy. I'll use this email address and I will not have a phone used this time. For the more info page, you can use your own page if you have one or you can use the about page that was generated for you by TV Boss Fire. This is why we've generated it, so that those who don't have a web page, especially for their channel, can use it here. Then you need to add some administrative contact details. Let's say the name should be developer. So developer. The administrative contact and the technical contact can be the same. I usually use the same. You need to add a phone number, of course. And again, it's a dummy phone number and the developer email again. It's just for demonstration purposes only, so we only use dummy info at this time. When you've finished, click save. And with this, the basic channel setup is finished. On this screen, you can review all the settings and all the check marks should be marked OK. If you have any error, this check mark will not be available and you cannot submit the channel. If you do see an error, just click on it and see where the error is and what it's about. Like in this case, the error is the ad break. It exceeds the duration of the video. And you can also see on what video. Just go back into the TV Boss Fire area and adjust the ad break. In this case, of course, we'll delete the ad break because the whole video is only three minutes long. Save the channel again. Go back to the Roku settings page and hit refresh now. The Roku will refresh the feed and the error will go away. When you only have yellow warning messages, you can submit the channel for approval. You cannot submit it if you get an error message which is red. Now that everything will be okay, I will not wait for Roku to validate our change. Usually the validation is instant, but sometimes it can take more. Now all you have to do is check that you certify that all the information you provided is correct and you have the rights to use the content on your channel and so on. Now you can schedule the channel for publishing. If the date is okay for you, click schedule publishing. If not, change when your channel wants to go live and click schedule publishing. I will not do that again because it's just for a demonstration purpose only. This was the whole setup process. Here's a couple of tips for ending this video. If you did the agency license, for example, and you develop the channel for a client, you can send him or her the link from here to preview the channel on their device. If, for example, you intend to publish multiple channels and you want to have a specific channel name, you can reserve a channel name. Just simply, you need to go into the channel and add channel on that tab there and try the name that you want. Let's see. My awesome channel 2021. Click continue and if the channel name is available, you've already reserved it. You don't need to finish the setup process. 
Make sure that you don't abuse the system and you don't reserve too many channel names. Roku will appreciate you being like this. Also, keep in mind that you can have multiple Roku developer accounts and you can also have an unlimited number of channels inside one account. Roku doesn't put any limits on how many channels you can have inside your account. But if you want to monetize your channels, for example, you need to submit your tax information and enroll into the Roku Partner Program with every account that you do create. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.